This is the 1969 Dodge Coronet, the best intermediate value of 1969. Because Coronet offers a bigger, roomier car with more standard power and more extra features, more value for the price than any competitor. And no other intermediate will look as new or as appealing as the freshly restyled Coronet line because no other intermediates are offering as much that is new in 1969. There is no mistaking the strong, eye-catching character of Coronet's bold new grill. It is distinctively different. And just as different and dramatic are these new triple taillight clusters, which identify the new Coronet 500 as well as the Coronet RT. The same is true of this eye-catching side treatment with wide full-length sill and lip moldings on Coronet 500 and RT models and dark contrasting paint underneath. New side marker reflectors and new fender-mounted turn signals add a bright touch of newness, day or night, as does this attractive new optional chrome-stamped road wheel and trim ring. It all adds up to a winning look on the outside for Coronet, in the fastest-growing group of cars the industry has to sell, with intermediate sales now running almost 30% of the new car market and running neck and neck with the traditional standard size volume leaders. That's right. One out of almost every four new cars sold is in Coronet's size and price class. Coronet continues to compete against Chevelle, Tempest, F-85, Buick Special, Fairlane, Montego, and Satellite. All will get only minor facelifts in 1969, and there will be no new models in the conventional intermediate class. Coronet 1968 penetration of the intermediate car market was 10% in 1968, up 2% over 1967. But 10% of this important market does not begin to reflect Coronet's true value compared to the other intermediate entries. Some of the features and benefits that make Coronet a better value, dollar for dollar, are evident on the outside, like greater length and width and a longer wheelbase. Coronet offers greater standard and optional horsepower and performance and a greater variety of economical and more responsive power plants. And inside, Coronet continues to outclass and outvalue the rest of the intermediates with more room for extra passenger comfort, more luxurious upholstery and trim, and many quality interior appointments for a greater degree of owner pride and satisfaction. And a driver-oriented instrument panel with modern responsive controls and instrumentation for easier, safer, and more enjoyable driving. Coronet's extra value interior includes a lot of exclusive features too, like the newly positioned door lock buttons in two-door hardtops, now far more conveniently located for front seat occupants, and flush rocker-type optional electric window switches that are safer, smart-looking, and practical. To make Coronet interiors even more competitive, the high-quality seat and door trim has been noticeably upgraded in 69. And of course, optional head restraints will become standard safety equipment during the model year. And up above, a new flush-mounted dome courtesy light. Coronet continues to lead the intermediate field in instrument panels with a design that is safe, functional, and attractive. In 1969, the complete light package is standard on Coronet 500 models, including the glove box, ash receiver, map, and ignition switch lights, as well as the courtesy and trunk lights and the new headlamp-on reminder buzzer. Attractive wood grain inserts are standard on Coronet 500 and RT models for an extra touch of elegance. In 69, Coronet offers four different radios. This stereo tape AM radio model, the 2 watt, the 5 watt, and by popular demand, a new factory installed AM FM radio. All Coronet models offer improved steering wheels in 1969. This beauty, with a full horn ring, is available on all models as an extra cost option. Again in 1969, the next best thing to computerized driving is foot-free motoring with a Dodge Economy speed control. The Dodge unit is safe, practical, and easy to operate. And it offers many advantages, like the resume speed feature, available only in competitive units that cost twice as much. Bucket seats are standard for the Coronet 500 two-door hardtop and both RT models. Buckets are optional on the 500 convertible and four-door sedan, as well as Super B models in 1969. And in bucket seat models, there's a new manual bucket seat adjuster option, the custom comfort seat, at just half the price of a power seat. 
There are two adjustment levers. One lever is for horizontal, fore and aft. The other lever is for up and down and tilt. Up and down movement is easy because of a spring that is counterbalanced for a 160 pound driver. And this luxurious split back bench seat with a folding center armrest is now standard on Coronet 500 four-door sedans. The model lineup for Coronet 500 remains unchanged for 1969. Besides the two-door hardtop, you'll be offering this convertible and the 500 four-door sedan and two and three-seat station wagons. Coronet wagon sales were up over 25% in 1968, due entirely to the popularity of the newly introduced Coronet 500 wagons. The Coronet wagon package will continue to stay ahead of competition because of superior features like the popular and practical tailgate window washer and wiper option. The low-line Coronet Deluxe models also benefit from upgrading in 1969 to make Coronet's economy line far more competitive. And this Coronet Deluxe Sport Coupe is a good example. The Coronet Deluxe four-door sedan and the Coronet Deluxe two-seat station wagons are also improved. Upgrading includes instrument panel improvements, 775 tires on V8 models, improved steering wheels, upgraded interior trim, and a 318 cubic inch engine is the standard V8, replacing the 273 V8. Coronet 440 offers the strongest value package in our intermediate series. 440 models accounted for 50% of the 1968 Coronet sales. And Coronet 440 will be a strong contender again in 1969 with these value leaders. The popular two-door hardtop, the practical four-door sedan, and the sport coupe, as well as the highly competitive two- and three-seat Coronet 440 station wagons. Product upgrading in the 440 line include instrument panel improvements, higher quality steering wheels, and 775 tires on all V8 models. Another important area of Coronet's strength lies in the muscle cars, Super B and Coronet RT. These popular cars are respected at every major track and drag strip in the country. And the addition of this two-door hardtop to the Super B lineup is among the many important steps being taken to improve Coronet's position in the performance market. Super B's standard engine continues to be the special 383 cubic inch Magnum V8. The 426 Hemi is optional, and a four-speed Hurst shifter is standard. A two-door hardtop and convertible continue to make up the Coronet RT lineup. The 440 Magnum engine is standard, and the 426 Hemi is optional. A moderately priced fresh air ram charger hood with air scoop will be optional on both Super B and Coronet RT models and standard with the Hemi engine. This system takes in cold outside air through the hood mounted scoops and feeds it directly to the engine. The combination of forced air and cooler air improves performance significantly. A panel mounted control allows the driver to switch from outside air to under hood air in rainy or very cold weather. Increased performance for Coronet RT and Super B models will also stem from the availability of additional axle ratios, including a 4.10, a 3.91, and a 3.55. And still more performance results from a new sure grip differential with improved action, particularly under low torque conditions. We have covered only the highlights of the many features that are new or improved for 1969. Improvements have been made in virtually every area to make each Coronet model a better car and a better value. Coronet has the ride, the size, the roominess and styling that can't be matched in 1969. So you can be assured that Coronet is the best intermediate bargain, the best intermediate buy, and the best intermediate value in 1969.